Hi everybody, it is Nat, and today I'm here with another reading vlog. Um, I'm currently laying on down on my bed. This is like a funky angle, but, um, hi. I don't know, I don't know what that was. Anyways, welcome to another reading vlog. Today, or I guess recently, I am reading The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer, and I am loving it. I'm on page 204, so I've read for quite a bit before starting this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a reading vlog or just kind of do um, like a regular book review book talk um, but I just decided to do a reading vlog so I am seriously loving this book, loving this book. <laughs> again on page 204 and actually a lot has happened um, but before I kind of get into like where I'm at and what's all happening and those sort of things I just want to mention that like I don't think of myself as a girl who like has a lot of like favorite authors I feel like I definitely judge books like kind of off like themselves you know like just because an author wrote something like one book another book can be completely different take for example I just finished rereading the warrior series and Suzanne Collin or whoa whoa not the warrior series the Gregor and the Underlander series um but anyways Suzanne Collin Collins wrote both the Greg of the Underlander, Underlander series, Jesus, Louise, or Greg of the Overlander, what am I even saying? She wrote, <laughs> uh, Suzanne Collins <laughs> wrote Greg of the Overlander series and the Hunger Games series. And I just finished rereading the Gregor series, and literally the two are so completely different. I know that one's a middle grade, one's like YA, but literally those books are so completely different. So I've always been the type of person who, like, I don't really like care so much about the author I care about like the story and if it sounds interesting to me and wow I feel like this is a long rambly talk I, don't, I didn't know I was going to get all into this but pretty much really before a booktube I honestly didn't even really pay that much attention to authors like all of my favorite books before I started paying attention to booktube and realizing that people like actually like memorized authors I like didn't really care which I know is bad like obviously it's the author's book they should take like a lot they should have credit for it and like get that recognition but I always just like I, I read the books I read the stories that sounded good not just because an author wrote it but the long point of that whole thing is that if I had to pick like honestly if I had to pick a favorite author and probably my only autobi author it would be Stephanie Meyer and so Based upon that, it feels so good to be back in her writing. Like, I, I don't feel this way about any other author. And seriously, just the first page, I just had this feeling of complete comfort and home. And was so glad to be back because, and I mentioned this, I think, in one of in my wrap-up of my TBR. I, I talked about this a little bit about just how comfortable and good I felt to be reading her stuff again because... The Host is my absolute favorite book of all time. I have read it, like, more times than I can count at this point. And The Host and Twilight, too, just have such special places in my heart. And so to have another book by Stephanie Meyer that, even from the first page, is giving me that same feeling is so amazing. And so rambly 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 wow i I'm at, I'm at four minutes right now and i had no idea this is where this was gonna go but um yeah pretty much the whole point of that was i'm so happy to be reading a stephanie meyer book again literally i love it so anyways going past all that um the chemist so i'm actually pretty far and i have like 300 pages left but so the chemist her name her name is juliana but she, like, worked for the secret, or not the secret, she worked for the U.S. government, like, the secret department, and she's a torturer, but she specializes in torturing people without leaving a trace, so, like, using chemical compounds and, like, injecting it in people, into people, and that caused them, like, even more pain, and she was, like, the best. She was really good, but then her department decided to terminate her, we think, because of something she knows, and so she's on the run for the past three years, and then her department's like hey we have a final job for you like we need your help on it if you do this for us we'll stop like hunting and chasing you and so she's like okay fine like i'll do it because i want you guys to stop chasing me but then it turns out that so she kidnaps this guy daniel beach and then eventually it we find out 
spoilers, <laughs> that Daniel has a twin brother who is, like, good, but he's kind of in the same situation as Juliana. Um, also, she's going by Alex, so I'm just going to call her Alex, but her real name is Juliana. Um, but what was I saying? Um, so Kevin, that's the brother of Daniel. Daniel's the one that's got kidnapped. Kevin is the one who he worked for the CIA. I'm pretty sure in a similar situation happened. He like pretended to be dead to get out of something, to get out of like the work or something. But I don't remember. Um, but so both the department and the CIA like agency, they think they teamed up to send Alex and Kevin against each other. Hopefully one of them would die because they like don't want to expend like a lot of manpower trying to like get them because Alex has killed already three people and then I'm sure Kevin has killed more if people have come after him. But so pretty much she was torturing Daniel. Kevin and Daniel are twin brothers and so Kevin came in came in and they like fought but then they figure out like everything that was happening and now they're out of hideout together. Um, and now they're, like, gonna try and get back at their, like, departments and try and, like, be free forever. Um, but yeah, so it's really good. Uh, I love, like, I kind of liked when Alex was alone, like, by herself more because I loved, like, getting more into her brain and just kind of, like, her solo thoughts and her setting up like, all her traps and just the way that she thinks about it and just, like, how prepared she is. I love reading about that. And I do like Daniel. He's awesome. Kevin's, like, fine. But Daniel is amazing, and I really like all the dogs, too. They're super cute. I'm excited to see, like, if that has, like, more of a, like, a plot line. I'm feeling like the dogs are going to end up saving her life or something. But, yeah, it's really good so far. They're just kind of chilling at the, like, the safe house that kind of just got, I think, class. I just read about their first night there. But, yeah, it's really good. I really enjoyed the torture scene. <laughs> is that bad to say? Like, I really liked, again, seeing... Alex's, like, mind work that way and just kind of her personality doing it. Yeah, I really like Alex as a person, if you couldn't tell. But, yeah, so I'm going to get back to reading. It's really good. Hopefully a lot more, like, I'm sure a lot more exciting things are going to happen. But I'm excited <laughs> to read about all the more action to come, kind of. I want her to, her to um, Alex, to kind of, like, I, I want just to see her, go like, go back to her department and kind of, like, fight it out with them I think that would be interesting so yeah I'm gonna get back to reading super good you guys should all read every single one of Stephanie Meyer's books okay guys so I'm now on page 347 and some pretty intense stuff has happened they were at the safe house just chilling and then oh and then they like weren't getting any calls from Kevin and so then like all of a sudden they're like, being completely attacked and they had to flee the scene they did like the uh, escape protocol and the dogs were like saving them and it was so cool I love like the dogs but yeah they like had to escape and then they came back and they killed everybody and Daniel killed his first person and Alex was like trying to interrogate people but then he like escaped so he just had to kill him and like they had to like burn the house down and run and Arnie's dead like so much happened but now they have just been on the road and they just hooked up for the first time at um uh, Daniel and Kevin's like old family friend's house or something and so they're just hanging out there i feel like something bad's gonna happen because last the last night alex didn't set up her like safeguards because she was too tired and so i feel like she's like gonna stop setting them up and then something bad's gonna happen with that but yeah i'm super excited to see kind of how like more they go and kind of um like take down like the, the agencies in the department and see like kind of where that goes instead of just them running i'm excited to see like them actually starting to fight but yeah, it's super good. I'm, oh, I only have like a fourth left or so. But yeah, super good. I'm loving it. And yeah, I think that's really all that's happened so far since I last talked. But yeah, it was super intense. Super good. And yeah, I just, I love when Alex like interrogates people. <laughs> it's great. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back to reading. Okay, hi guys. I'm back. And again, <laughs> I don't remember exactly where I left off in The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. But... I am now on page four or five, so I only have about like a hundred pages left, and I was really, really loving this book, and um, I definitely still, like, I really am enjoying it, but it's definitely, I, I don't, I'm not loving it as much as I was in the beginning. I don't know, I'm actually 
actually put this one down just for a little bit to go ahead and read another book that I really wanted to read. So if that says anything, it, this is like the last few like page or I guess like the last a lot of pages like the last like 50 or so I just haven't really been keeping my interest that much um they're just now in DC and they're doing like reconnaissance or whatever and like spying on people and they're in Val I think that's her name I can't remember actually I just call her Kate but um they're in the like that hooker's um house and they're just like living there and about to like I think I think it's, it will get it will get a lot better as I go on because there'll be a lot more like action and ones like she actually faces down Carson um but yeah, I don't know. I really liked her and Daniel in the beginning, but not so much that it's, like, insta-love, but that it's, like, such a strong love so fast. And I, she talks about how she feels like they both um, just like each other because of, like, the extreme circumstances they're going through. And I feel like I would kind of agree with that. I don't know. Like, I feel like in real life, it, their relationship wouldn't be like this after only have, like, being together for, like, it's like not even like a week or I don't know like a week in something like it's really not that long of a time um but yeah so I mean I'm still really enjoying it um so far if I had to rate it right now I'd probably give it like 3.5 4 out of um 4 out of 5 stars um but we'll see if it gets a lot better in the end because I do think it will get better once she like actually faces down the people but yeah so I'm still enjoying it it's still good I'm just not loving it as much as I once was okay so I just finished The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer and <laughs> I was really, really loving this book. In the beginning, I was all for it, and then in the middle, it kind of went downhill for me. And then at the end, it started to pick back up again. But the ending was just like, meh for me. <laughs> okay, the spoilers massively are coming. But I definitely was kind of happy when Daniel, when we thought he was dead. I thought that would be like a really good ending, like a plot twist. I don't love their love anyways. I don't ship them. I don't like it together. They're like... I don't know, Alex and Daniel, it's like fine. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool because I don't love them together. So I was like, yeah, that's like a cool ending. Then he dies, but then he lives because he's like the opposite where like his body insides are on the other side. And I was like, oh, I mean, that's kind of cool, but I liked it better when he died. <laughs> but yeah, I liked the like ending ending though when they're all like owning that restaurant together because that's like so cute because Daniel's such a good cook. So I really liked that. But overall, it was a good book. Definitely not my favorite. Um, if it wasn't a Stephanie Meyer book, I probably wouldn't have really cared as much, but I love Stephanie Meyer. Yeah, I would still recommend this book, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. But I mean, that's okay. Like, I love all of Stephanie Meyer's other books, so it's like one that I don't love. It's fine. I don't really have much else to say about this book. Um, comment down below what you guys thought if you've read this book and how you think it compares to her other ones. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.